Well, I was just out here uh, doing my, uh, you know, getting back into daily meditation. Been slacking for too long. Do your thing at night, but also go out there during the day, son. And uh, so I was out here, just got done. By the way, yesterday doing the same thing. And I was, I was in between that, you know, sleep and awake thing state. And I just got this quick little like phrase. Contingency planning for food storage. Food storage contingency planning. Like why, why is it worded that way? But I think the bottom line is canned goods that you don't need a freezer or refrigerator or powered, you know, something powered to keep it good, like steak and things like that in your freezer. Canned goods. So I said, let me do a Patreon post, man. I, I need to tell them. Now, having said that, <clears throat> I had my phone on silent while I was doing this because I don't want to be bothered, you know, text or phone ringing. And uh, just to give you an idea. See that little speaker right there? And that little speaker right there. Left ear, right ear, beer. I don't have to have headphones on. And they have a great sound. It's not edifer, it's edifier. Like I E R, edifier. They make good speakers. Let me just tell you something. Those are the 2000 models, they're, they're good. <clears throat> now, I turn my phone back on out of silence. I see a message from Stephen Crypto Karaoke. JD Vance's plane had to make an emergency landing. So you mean to tell me, first Trump and his VP now, VP pick, They're saying a door seal had a problem on the plane and the pilot declared an emergency and uh, landed and they got the problem resolved and off he went. But he did have an emergency, you know, landing essentially. Boy, it's pretty strange. <laughs> you know, I'm not the smartest man in the world, Smokey, but from over here, it looks like you're taking the shit. He's hell. Get the hell on. I won't tell anybody else. I'm not the smartest man in the world. But I'm pretty sure I had no less than three dreams about Trump going down in an emergency landing situation, <laughs> airplane. And again, the whole Boeing thing. Boeing has problems. Boeing, 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 Boeing. Oh, Trump's in a Boeing. Oh, his VP might be in a Boeing too. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> I don't exactly have a crystal ball, but... You know, I get stuff in my dreams. There's no way Trump and his VP pick had plane issues right now in Greece back to back, you know, where they had to freaking make emergency landing. And my dream was not about an emergency, oh, we're landing, going to fix the door seal thing. My dream was, uh oh. Oh, shoot. Except, I didn't see him on board. I did, but then he wasn't there. And I was like confused. Well, I saw him get on, but where'd he go? He never got on board. Yes, he did. Oh. He must have decided the last minute not to like I said I'm I think he got my letters I think I hope because what if what if this actually happens I don't think I'm ready for this but let me just say I've been talking about it all but if this shit actually happens and I'm not talking about, oh, he had to turn around because of a door stool. I'm talking, his plane went down. His helicopter went down. Something he's flying in went down. 
And we're all left on our edge of our seats. Oh my God, what happened? Is he on board? Is he not? Well, he's just playing. He just took off. And of course he's on board. You know, CNN. And, oh. and he decided not to get on board that day. Because he had a little bit of intel about something. It wasn't really much. Probably nothing. But then he thought, that damn guy, Joe. Front row Joe. The real front row Joe. Sent me three letters about that. Actually, four, technically. Because out of meditation recently, sent him a fourth letter of reminder. Sent him a fourth letter of reminder about the other three you sent him. And now his vice president's plane had a problem. Maybe he read it or decides to write that last minute. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to get on today. I don't feel off. I have a bad, bad vibe. Whatever. And then something happens. His plane goes down and, and he decided not to get in it because of my damn letters. <laughs> I'm just trying to think about this for a minute. That I could possibly be responsible for him staying around, staying alive. Because if he not, if he doesn't stay around, dies. Like I said, it's like he the, the the world can't change the way it needs to change without him. He has to be the one to bring it and deal with it, implement it, etc. Nobody else can do it. it. It's like it has to be him. And you, Jason Up Four, you saved his life, son. You literally saved his life. I, like I, I, I can't even think about it. Like I'm like ah, come on, that, probably not even gonna happen. Or is it? I don't know, man. But meditation time is over. Just in time. Take care.